In an ultra-luxurious bedroom of more than 100 square meters, a woman is standing in front of a large floor-to-ceiling mirror and looking in the mirror. The woman in the mirror has red lips and white eyebrows, picturesque eyes, and a curvaceous figure. She is truly the best in the world. It's just that the woman's behavior at the moment looks a little strange. I saw that she was pulling the collar, swallowing her saliva while looking at the scenery inside the collar, and said excitedly with a trembling voice, Damn it, this is so good. Then she pinched the delicate face that seemed to be able to squeeze water, with exclamation in her eyes, it's just like that for baby muscles. Just thinking of the character of this body, the woman's face showed indescribable words. That's right, Tang Li is fashionably dressed in books. She obviously went to treat the head of a hermit family, and it happened that in the middle of the night a weapon spirit and a book spirit were fighting. She watched the excitement, and she was even dragged into a bully that I don't know who put it there. In the general novel, Others wear books as the heroine, but she is the vicious supporting actress. This female partner is obviously a wealthy daughter, or a graduate of a famous school, but she has no brains to marry Mr. B.A. and deliberately raise a little white face to give him a cuckold. The ambition is so big that he wants to kill Mr. B.A. and the little white face. After the death of the old man, he also mixed with several brothers in the fight for the family property. In the end, he got a divorce paper and was sent to the lunatic asylum by the president. After receiving her settings for the complete book, Tang Li just wanted to say, the author is poisonous. As the 99th generation descendant of Suanmen, Tang Li has been gifted since childhood. She started taking business at the age of 10. Whether it's fortune-telling, feng shui, slaying demons, or curing diseases, she has not been stumped. Moreover, she is also a super academic god. She was admitted to the first academy at the age of 15, and played with science and theology. She is a talent that all fields compete for, and she is also a big shot that the rich and powerful are eager to invite. She was so powerful, but she was born with the fate of the scorpion, and her parents died when she was born, even her master was not spared. She passed away when she was 12 years old but her master told her before her death that as long as she can get married, only one person can be married in her life, and she can't divorce, and with the marriage line, the fate of Tian Chaguxing can be broken. It's just that she was born without a relationship with a man, and she might be too powerful. She was born beautiful and beautiful, but no man was willing to date her, let alone marry her. Thinking of this, Tang Li couldn't help but wipe away bitter tears. No, I'm already married in this book. Thinking of this, Tang Li hurriedly raised her wrist and glanced at it, there really was a looming marriage line there. She opened her eyes wide, at first she couldn't believe it, then she wept with joy, woo woo woo. My destiny was broken in this book. Knock. 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 Cough cough. The sudden knock on the door made Tang Li almost choke on saliva. She stroked her chest, then walked over to open the door. A maid stood outside the door. The maid respectfully said to her, Madam, breakfast is ready. Understood, I'll get dressed and come down. Tang Li adjusted well, closed the door and walked into the cloakroom. In an instant, he was shocked by the cloakroom comparable to a store. Damn it! Sure enough, the richest person is the boss in the book. The original owner and Mr. B.A. slept in separate rooms on the first day of marriage. Tang Li's bedroom is just one of the guest bedrooms in Mr. Ba's house. Could it be that there really is the legendary 300 square meter big bed in Mr. Ba's husband's bedroom? Tang Li is very curious. As the 99th generation descendant of Suanmen, she is not short of money, but when she has money, she can't control her hand to buy all kinds of rare medicinal materials and all kinds of famous utensils. Therefore, she has only one set of two-story ancestral buildings of more than 100 square meters under her name. Quickly glanced around the cloakroom, the style of clothes inside was divided into two parts. On the one hand conservative. Side open. Conservative is for President B.A. to see in order to prevent President B.A. from showing off her bestiality. 
Tang Li wants to clarify this point. The original owner and Mr. B.A. belong to the older generation of finger marriage and commercial marriage. Mr. B.A. can only inherit the company when he marries the original owner. In fact, Mr. B.A. has never looked at the original owner with the right eyes. Of course, the open side is dressed for the little white face she has taken care of. Xiao Baliangxu's acting department has now become prosperous in the entertainment industry with the help of Tang Li. In Tang Li's mind, a comparison photo of Mr. B.A. and Xiao Bai's face appeared. The tyrant is tall, mighty, handsome, dashing, arrogant, noble, ruthless, ruthless, and has amazing abilities in all aspects. Xiao Bai's face is beautiful and lovely, and in front of the original owner, he handled the ambiguity and arrogance to the death. The most important thing is that the original owner thought that raising a little white face was well covered up, and no one knew about it. In fact, except for the old man, everyone in Mr. Ba's family knew that they would use the little white face to make her hurt Mr. B.A. Tang Li. Really an idiot. But even if the original owner played the cards to a pulp, she was ready to turn the situation around. Tang Li packed up and changed her clothes and walked out of the bedroom. Unexpectedly, as soon as she walked to the stairs, she saw a domineering tall figure in a handmade custom suit walking to the entrance, and was greeted by the housekeeper and a group of servants and walked out the door. Tang Li waved her arms in her heart and swore, I must treat this hard one husband well, and don't let him think of divorce from her. Maybe she stood there for a while, and the housekeeper who returned after bringing Chi Yu Han to the door saw her, stopped and asked respectfully, Ma'am, breakfast has been prepared for you, are you going to eat now? Tang Li looked back at the housekeeper. The housekeeper, surnamed Yang, is 36 years old this year. He graduated from the Royal Academy of Management in Country E with a double master's degree. He has been with Chi Yu Han for eight years and is Chi Yu Han's confidant. Don't look at the housekeeper's respectful face to her, but look at her like he is looking at a paper man. Tang Li thought about her status in this family. The day before she moved in, Chi Yuhan asked her to sign a stack of thick compliance agreements. The butler was present when the agreement was signed. Well, she admits that she is a paper person. Sitting at the French dining table, a rich breakfast was placed in front of him, and a group of servants stood respectfully beside him. With this kind of treatment, Tang Li felt that she was the queen. The well-mannered butler told her, Tomorrow night, there is a family banquet at the main house. The young master asked Madame to spare tomorrow night to go back with him. Tang Li glanced at the butler of the microphone, and suddenly said to him seriously, Steward Yang, you have a bloodbath today, be careful. Butler Yang, who did not change his face, said, Thank you Madame for reminding me, I will pay attention. Heart, ha ha. Tang Li retracted her gaze and continued to eat breakfast. After breakfast, everyone thought she would go out. But she went back upstairs directly, planning how to restore the image in Chi Yuhan's heart. After an unknown amount of time, the phone rang. After pressing the button, there was a panicked voice, Ma'am, it's not good. The rose garden scissors pierced the butler's thigh and bleed a lot. It was just today that the family doctors went to study, and the ambulance was in a hurry. I can't come in a while, what should I do? Tang Li said calmly, take the medicine box and I'll come right over. When Tang Li rushed over, a large group of servants were surrounding there at a loss. Get out of the way! Tang Li roared, and the servants immediately separated. At this moment, the housekeeper was sitting on the ground with a pale face. The scissors sank directly into the femoral artery on his thigh, and the blood flowed like a stream. You know, puncturing the femoral artery does not stop bleeding, and it takes about 15 minutes to bleed to death. The surrounding servants were frightened and didn't know how to treat them. The housekeeper was relatively calm, and when Tang Li came, he also said, Mrs. is worried. Tang Li gave a lukewarm hum, walked up to him and squatted down. The housekeeper subconsciously covered the wound with his hand, Madam, please leave, my wound will scare you. Tang Li ignored it, 
glanced at the medicine box, first bound his thigh with a gauze, and then said to the housekeeper who wanted to stop her, I'll take out the scissors first, and then help you stop the bleeding, otherwise you won't be able to wait. The ambulance will bleed so much, it will be dreadlocks. After speaking, he grabbed his trousers with both hands and tore them. After exposing his thighs, he quickly sterilized a piece of cotton cloth with alcohol, and then pressed the cotton cloth to the edge of the scissors. Pull up. The matter in the villa quickly reached Chi Yuhan's ears. The secretary said, the housekeeper has now been sent to the hospital and is being rescued. The secretary also said, Madam pulled out the scissors on the butler's leg, and the butler immediately fainted. Chi Yuhan's face darkened and he said coldly, Send someone to take good care of the housekeeper. Yes. After the secretary went out, Chi Yuhan's cell phone rang next to him, he took it to connect, and he didn't know what the other party said, a sharp chill burst out from his body, and his voice became a little deeper, tell the Tang family. If there is another time, don't blame me for being rude. After speaking, he hung up the phone and waited for a few seconds, then dialed another number. After the other party connected, he said, draft a divorce agreement for me. The other party was obviously surprised, are you going to divorce Tang Li? Okay. Isn't your marriage appointed by the old man? If you divorce her now, those people in your family will definitely have an excuse to deal with you. Chi Yuhan stared out the window with wide eyes, with an indifferent expression, it depends on whether they have that ability. Marrying Tang Li was originally an expedient measure to take over the Qi clan, but now that he has mastered the entire Qi clan, there is no need to face that woman again. If that woman and her family were in peace, he would still accept this kind of marriage that was both good-looking and detached. He couldn't possibly like anyone anyway, but she was photographed by reporters every now and then and some scandals that ruined the reputation of the Qi family, he didn't need it. Help her down every time. And those from the Tang family, I'll have someone collect the evidence for you. If they use the Chi family's name to do anything wrong in the shopping mall, you're welcome. The Tang family has been going downhill since the death of Mr. Tang due to the family civil strife. Recently, he used the name of the Tang family's son-in-law to make large loans and break the rules of the shopping mall. Chi Yuhan did not plan to give them this chance again. Hospital. Butler Yang, as Chi Yuhan's housekeeper, was sent to the hospital by the chief doctor and the team of gold medal doctors who performed the operation on him in person. When the operation was over, both the chief doctor and the gold medal doctor were very surprised. Didn't the Chi family's family doctor team go for further education? Who has the ability to give first aid to Mr. Yang? Fortunately, Mr. Yang was rescued otherwise his life would be in danger. The man's hemostasis technique in the first aid is also very powerful, and it can effectively stop the massive arterial bleeding under that circumstance. Would you like to ask Mr. Yang who gave him first aid? Even they can't do this kind of hemostasis. Several people especially want to know who has such great ability. Tang Li stayed in the villa for a day, but didn't even go out at night. This made the group of servants in the villa incredible. Not only the servants felt incredible, but also Bai Qinjiang's manager Zhou Jian. She called out Bai Qing Yang, who was accompanying the director and investors in the box, and whispered to him, Qing Yang, send a message to Miss Tang and ask her why she hasn't come. Director Wu is going to direct this movie, right? We are very important, if we can't get the male lead. Our efforts during this period will be in vain. Bai Ching Yang has an aloof face, why should I send her a message? She herself promised to come over tonight to help me deal with Director Wu and the investors, if she dares to keep her word, she won't want to see me again in the next month. Zhou Jian opened her mouth, although she knew that Tang Li was super obsessed with Bai Ching Yang, but what was Tang Li's identity and what was Bai Qin Jiang's identity? She worried that one day Bai Ching Yang would fall out of favor, then he would be finished, kindly reminded, maybe Miss Tang can't come tonight for something important, or you should send a message to ask, if she can't come, 
you can still mention the meeting with Director Wu and the others tonight, as long as Miss Tang makes a phone call, the male protagonist is still yours. Bai Qingyang is still reluctant, but he thinks that the films directed by Director Wu are very popular. If he can get the male lead, he will definitely be in the first line. Even if he is disgusted with Tang Li, he still takes out the two. The mobile phone sent a message to Tang Li. Ding! Tang Li, who was already lying on the bed with a mask on, heard the ringing of the text message on her mobile phone, so she reached out and took a look. Bai Ching Yang, you promised me to accompany me to see Director Wu and the others tonight, why do you keep your word? Tisk! Tang Li was amused by this questioning tone, she threw her phone aside, because she couldn't open her mouth to speak with the mask on, she muttered with her lips, I really think I'm a green onion, where is it cool? Just leave your aunt where to stay. The original owner has special hobbies, but she doesn't. She was too lazy to take care of a little white face who couldn't even see her own identity. 10 p.m. A super limousine was parked outside the gate of the villa. A group of servants stood by the door to greet him. The door was opened by the bodyguard, and a handmade lambskin shoe came out of the car first, followed by the long straight legs wrapped in suit pants. The man got out of the car, nearly 1.9 meters tall, with a broad and tall body wrapped in a tailored suit, calm and abstinent, full of the noble temperament of a king and a handsome face, instantly made the two rows of people standing in two rows. The maid's heart beat faster for the nth time. Butler Yang was injured and was hospitalized, and the acting butler Zhang Butler came to greet him. Master, welcome home, I'm the acting housekeeper Zhang Kui. Butler Zhang followed Chi Yu Han into the gate of the villa and took the suit jacket that Chi Yu Han took off. Chi Yu Han attended a wine party tonight, drank some wine, walked to the sofa and sat down, took a sip of hangover tea, and then asked, How is Butler Yang? Butler Yang was transferred to the general ward after the operation. Director Chong of UU Reading www.uuganshu.com said that he is fine, as long as he takes a good period of training, he will be fine. Okay. Seeing that Chi Yuhan had nothing else to ask, Steward Zhang hesitated for a while, but still said, Master, Madam has been staying at home today without going out. Chi Yuhan frowned slightly obviously not wanting to hear about Tang Li. Butler Zhang immediately closed his mouth, daring not to say any more. Chi Yu Han waved at him. Butler Zhang immediately went out knowingly. Chi Yu Han sat on the sofa for a while, then walked towards the swimming pool at the back. He is usually busy with work, and the most relaxing time is to swim for half an hour after returning. Whoops! When he heard the sound of heavy splashes, Tang Li got up from the bed and strode to the window. Her guest bedroom just faced the swimming pool at the back, watching the athletic body swimming in the pool. Tang Li rubbed his chin while admiring and tutting praise, as expected of the boss in the book, people who sit in the office are either white chickens or full of fat, task tisk, look at this one this hip, this waist, this healthy complexion, those well-proportioned muscles, hiss, exciting. Perhaps Tang Li's eyes were so intense that they were too substantial. Chi Yu Han, who was swimming, suddenly looked here, with those star-like eyes that seemed to freeze people. Tang Li not only didn't feel the embarrassment of being caught by peeping, but instead gave him a thumbs up and said with the shape of his lips, You have a good figure. Chi Yu Han understood the shape of her lips, her complexion suddenly darkened, her eyes narrowed slightly, and her whole body was cold. This woman is courting death. But at this moment, Tang Li pulled the curtains and went back to lie down and sleep contentedly. The next day, Tang Li deliberately went down to eat ahead of time. Sure enough, I saw Chi Yuhan sitting at the dining table alone, eating quietly. The Chi family is a wealthy family. Chi Yuhan has been educated by nobles and elites since he was a child, and his table manners are quite good. He ate very quietly only the acting housekeeper was standing next to him, and all the other servants were standing outside the door. When Tang Li came down from the upstairs, the acting housekeeper was surprised, 
but Chi Yuhan put on the ruthless face dedicated to overbearing CEOs, just glanced at her with indifferent eyes, and continued to eat. The acting housekeeper took a peek at Chi Yuhan's expression and asked Tang Li respectfully, Mrs. Good morning, do you want to eat now or wait for a while? Every time Tang Li wakes up nearly an hour and a half later than Chi Yuhan, she didn't expect it to be so early today, so her breakfast is not ready yet. Tang Li didn't answer him immediately, but walked over to Chi Yuhan and sat down before saying, Now. Okay, madam, please wait a moment, I will immediately order the servant to inform the kitchen. I want you to speak. Tang Li tilted her head to look at him, with a smile on the corner of her mouth, Why, don't you understand? The housekeeper was stunned for a moment, then quickly said, Okay, ma'am. Then left. As soon as the housekeeper left, Tang Li held her chin with one hand and looked at Chi Yu Han. The man opposite looked even more handsome up close, with a perfectly contoured face with an inhuman indifference, thick black eyebrows, sharp eyes, a high nose bridge and moderately thick lips. Because he didn't like to smile, the lip lines were tight. Gives a feeling of being rejected thousands of miles away. The man didn't even bother to give her the corner of his eye and obviously regarded her as heir. Tang Li thought about how to reconcile the relationship with President B.A. overnight, and then came up with the exclusive setting of President B.A. drinking black coffee as water, 9 out of 10 have a bad stomach. So she planned to start by caring about his stomach, Chi Yu Han, do you have a bad stomach? It's better to drink less coffee if you have a bad stomach. Chi Yu Han finished the food in his mouth gracefully, his indifferent eyes seemed to be looking at an idiot, and his voice was even colder, Tang Li, I don't have time to act with you, I don't care what you want to do, but don't overdo it, otherwise, don't blame me for being rude. After he said the harsh words, he stood up and walked towards the door without looking back. Seeing the tall and straight back who was leaving, Tang Li clicked his tongue. It seems that there is a long way to go to change the boss's opinion of me. Tang Li didn't plan to go out again today. This made the servants in the villa couldn't help but talk secretly in private. You said why madam didn't go out these two days. She didn't go out. I always have the feeling that something terrible is going to happen. Could it be that something happened to the Tang family and she needed help from the young master, so she didn't go out for two consecutive days? Absolutely. Last time she didn't go out for a day. She just asked the young master to give the Tang family a big project. It's really unfortunate that the master married her. If she hadn't been handpicked by the old man, the young master wouldn't even look at her at all. Tonight, she and grandpa go back to her home. The old man is in the hospital now. After she goes back, she doesn't agree with grandpa. Something will definitely happen by then. My grandfather married her and it's been eight lifetimes of blood mold. After a few servants sighed, they left. Tang Li didn't expect to hear these words when she was walking around the villa. She glanced at her and followed her. On the face of it, she said she was accompanying her, but in fact, she was a housekeeper who was wary of her being a demon, but she had a performance in front of Chi Yu Han. Idea Steward Zhang Madam, what are your orders? Butler Zhang was nervous and hurriedly asked. He is not Steward Yang, and he has little experience in dealing with his wife, so he is afraid that he will do something that will make the master angry. Tang Li glanced at Butler Zhang, who was nervous, but didn't care, and said directly, You ask someone to prepare a small gift for each of the people in the old house, and I'll bring it over at night. She intends to bow first to the people in the main house before soldiers. When the housekeeper heard this, his heart trembled, and he subconsciously felt that Madam was going to be a demon again. He wanted to call Butler Yang for help. Tang Li seemed to see through his thoughts and didn't care, she waved at him, go down and prepare. Okay. Butler Zhang left in a hurry. Tang Li spent the whole day talking about the big family of Qi family, and unexpectedly it was past four o'clock in the afternoon. Butler Zhang came in and reminded her, Madam, 
it's time for you to go back to the old house. Yu Yu reading www.yuyugonshu.com Tang Li was wearing a bright yellow Chong Sam with large peony thorns tonight. The Chong Sam was worn by Tang Li. It was concave and convex. I couldn't help but look at her a few more times. Walking out of the living room, the car was parked outside the villa waiting. Before getting in the car, Tang Li asked, Where's the gift I asked you to prepare? Butler Zhang hurriedly pointed to a car behind him, all in that car. Only then did Tang Li get into the car with satisfaction. Chi Yuhan's villa was nearly an hour's drive away from the old house. When Tang Li passed by, Chi Yuhan hadn't arrived yet. She asked the driver to park the car outside the compound of the old house and wait. After waiting for nearly 40 minutes, Chi Yuhan's car drove over. Several cars drove towards the house together. Inside the old owner's villa. The uncle, the second master, and the third master all sat there with a cold face. The eldest lady hugged her grandson and said yin and yang strangely, I don't know how long we have to wait for Yi Han today, but the people who took over the company are different, and it's hard to even come back and have a meal with us. It also depends on the person. When my second master was the general manager of the company, he didn't ask everyone to wait. So the second master's position will be replaced by Yi Han, I guess, it must be because the second master leaves work too early. Who said no, now the third master and Jun Qi are busy in the company all day, and they are also being managed by a layman. Even if they are told, they dare not speak out. In addition to the elders, the younger generation also whispered there. When the voice of fourth master, fourth madam, you are back came from outside the door, everyone stopped and looked at the door at the same time. When Tang Li, who was wearing a bright yellow Chong Sam, followed Chi Yu Han, who was wearing a black suit, the younger men of the Chi family were staring at her and couldn't even turn their eyes. Golam! Oh, Yi Han and Xiao Li are back. The eldest lady looked around Tang Li's body and sneered coldly in her heart, the family banquet is dressed like a fox, who is she trying to seduce? Tang Li first swept around everyone. Seeing everyone's wonderful expressions, she rolled her eyes, and the corners of her mouth twitched slightly. She gestured to the bodyguards who were following behind, bring in the gifts that Yi Han and I prepared for everyone. Not only other people were surprised by this, even Chi Yuhan turned to look at her. Everyone actually said with one mind, what the is this woman trying to do? The bodyguard quickly brought in two large boxes of gifts. Tang Li took out a few gifts and walked to the three brothers, Yi Han is busy recently, we rarely go back to the main house, I think everyone must miss us, in fact, we miss you very much, so I specially asked people to give them to us today. Everyone has a present. Speaking of which, she has already sent gifts to her three brothers. The three of them had no intention of reaching out to take her face. This made other people embarrassed for her again, and felt that it was really cool to have a good show. Only Chi Yuhan, who stood by the door and didn't move, frowned directly. What the is this woman doing? Big brother, second brother, third brother, why didn't you accept gifts? Are you still angry with Yu Han, thinking that he stole your position? Except for Chi Yu Han, everyone's expressions changed. The living room was instantly so quiet that you could hear needles falling. Giggle, candy, tang tang, I want. When the grandson in the eldest lady's arms saw the box in the bodyguard's hand, he suddenly stretched out his hand to ask for candy, which immediately broke the silence. Some things are good for everyone to know. Once they are said, it is equivalent to tearing the last layer of skin. Everyone doesn't believe that Tang Li doesn't know. So this woman did it on purpose? Uncle Ki face sank, and he suddenly shouted at the eldest lady, It's a shame, don't take Jun Jun down. Jun Jun's mother Zhang Xinya hurriedly hugged Jun Jun and strode towards the door. Jun Jun didn't ask for candy, so he struggled in Zhang Xinya's arms and cried, Tang Tang want, wow wow. When Zhang Xinya walked to Chi Yuhan who was standing by the door, she hurriedly hugged Jun Jun tightly, 
as if avoiding the plague, and quickly walked around him. After Jun Jun was taken out, Uncle Chi looked at Chi Yi who was standing there and snorted coldly, since you are not coming back for dinner tonight, let's talk about father. Tang Li didn't distribute gifts anymore. She turned to look at Chi Yu Han, who was still standing there, suddenly a little unhappy. He clearly had a part of him in this family, so why did he stand by the door like an outsider? Thinking of this, Tang Li rudely gestured to the eldest nephew Chi Hao and the second nephew Chi Ming who were sitting there, the eldest nephew, the second nephew, the elders are here, and the juniors are not allowed to sit. Who taught you the rules? Educated by a woman younger than them, the two of them blushed. Uncle Chi and the eldest lady also flushed with anger. This Tang Li, did you take the wrong medicine tonight? I haven't been watching from the sidelines before. Uncle Chi glanced coldly at Tang Li before asking Chi Hao and Chi Ming to give up their seats. After the seat was given up, Tang Li waved to Chi Yu Han, very gentle and kind, husband, come and sit. Everyone subconsciously looked at Chi Yu Han who was standing there. Who doesn't know that Chi Yu Han married Tang Li in order to succeed the Chi family, and Tang Li was also raising a little white face outside, and the two had no relationship at all. This woman must be acting so abnormally now, she must have another purpose. They suddenly thought of Chi Yu Han's recent attitude towards the Tang family. It feels the truth. Everyone else thought so, and Chi Yu Han definitely thought so too. He glanced at Tang Li coldly, walked over to the chair and sat down. Tang Li also sat down. Chi Yu Han was clearly twice the size of his elder brothers. Sitting there, his aura made him turn against the guests, like a king receiving courtiers. The faces of the three masters were a bit ugly, while the younger ones didn't dare to breathe. Uncle Chi said with a livid face, the hospital has already issued a critical illness notice, and my father has at most a month left. The Chi family is the country that his father beat down. Even if you are the president of the Chi family now, after the death of your father, all of us have the right to inherit, and we have the right to demand a share at that time. As long as the shares are divided, the more members of the family will have an advantage. If they don't believe in the younger brother, they dare not take out what they deserve. As soon as Uncle Chi finished speaking, Er Yi Chi immediately answered, After my father's death, I will take out all the shares of our Er Fang family, whether it is cash withdrawal or stock transfer. The third master Chi insisted, I'm telling you now, so that you can prepare. Don't say that our three brothers are united to bully your brother. Tang Li sneered, Haha. Aren't you bullying him now? Tang Li turned to look at Chi Yu Han, wanting to see his reaction. Chi Yu Han didn't react at all, he was still cold. Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com It's over. Chi Yu Han opened his mouth, his voice indifferent. Is it too early for you to be in such a hurry to divide the family property before my father died? The doctor has issued a critical illness notice. The doctors all said that my father only has more than a month left. The three replied at the same time. Chi Yuhan pursed his lips tightly, and his body quickly exuded an aura that was so powerful that the air around him dropped several degrees. He glanced at the three older brothers and betrayed his domineering side. Even if father still has a day left, I will still be in power of the Chi family. Believe it or not, I can let you not get a share of the shares. You dare. What you up to? Chi Yu Han, don't overdo it. Shoot. The living room suddenly became chaotic. The three masters slapped the table against the table, smashed the cup and smashed the cup, pointing to his nose to threaten and abuse as if this would scare Chi Yu Han. Tang Li looked at Chi Yu Han's slightly bent knuckles on his leg, and couldn't believe that he could endure it all. Sure enough, a team of well-trained bodyguards rushed in from outside the door. The bodyguards are all powerful and full of rage. Immediately suppressed the arrogance of several masters. Chi Yu Han, what do you want to do? Uncle Chi gritted his teeth in anger. Chi Yu Han tidied up his neat cufflinks before looking at them, I'm here for a family dinner tonight, 
not to see you fighting for family property. Before my father passes away, you'd better give me some peace of mind. Otherwise. Having said that, he stood up and said harshly, I will let you get nothing. After he finished speaking, he walked towards the door. It's obvious that he doesn't want to stay here for a moment. When Tang Li saw that Chi Yuhan was about to leave, he stood up. However, she did not follow immediately, but glanced at the people who were blushing with anger and thick necks, and said, Big brother, second brother, and third brother, don't blame Yuhan for being ruthless, this is your own found. Tang Li, say it again if you have the ability. This sentence obviously caused public anger, seeing that the three brothers were about to stand up and beat her. Tang Li looked at the three people who were being stopped by the bodyguards, sneered and walked towards the door, her bright yellow Chong Sam wrapped around her hot body, swaying, she just heard her say as she walked, it's the same again end times. As long as you have a bit of conscience, it's impossible to propose dividing the family property before your father's death. After speaking, she quickened her pace and walked towards Chi Yuhan who was about to get into the car. When he walked to the car, Chi Yuhan got in the car and closed the door. Before Tang Li could speak, he listened to his ruthless order to the driver, drive. The car sped away, leaving a stream of exhaust that sprayed directly onto Tang Li's face. Tang Li. After Chi Yuxuan got into the car, he tugged on his tie irritably. The phone just rang, so he took a look at it. The call was from a friend of his in college called Su Shiais, who was also the third young master of Su's airline. Boss Chi, Shang Guan Mo came back from abroad today. I invited him to drink at Zhuangxi, do you want to join us? Feeling annoyed, Chi Yuhan agreed, and then asked the driver to drive the car to the largest clubhouse in the capital, the Zhuangxi Clubhouse. Tang Li's car had been following Chi Yuhan's car, but halfway through, the car in front suddenly turned. Tang Li frowned. According to the plot, Chi Yuhan would go to a bar or a club to drink after arguing with several brothers. At that time, Chi Yuhan's brothers sent someone to prescribe medicine to Chi Yuhan, and wanted to make a video of him for the dying old man to see, let him the old man was disappointed in him, and it was the heroine who saved him. In this way, Chi Yuhan has a good impression of the heroine, and will think of divorce her. Tang Li condensed in her heart, and immediately said to the driver, follow. She wanted to see how powerful the book spirit was. When the car stopped outside the gate of the clubhouse, Tang Li saw Chi Yuhan, who got off the bus first, glanced coldly here, and after saying something to one of the bodyguards, he walked towards the gate of the clubhouse, while the bodyguards walked towards her. The bodyguard came over and said to her, Madam, Master said you can enter the clubhouse, but you are not allowed to follow him, or you will go back immediately. The boss behind this clubhouse has a deep background, and has done a good job in security and privacy. Of course, ordinary people with consumption level would not dare to enter, so there is no need to worry about what the paparazzi photographed in it. Chi Yuhan simply did not want Tang Li to follow him. Tang Li didn't know what he meant so she nodded indifferently, got it. As long as she goes in, what she wants to do is not easy. There are five floors in the clubhouse. There is a large spiral staircase in the lobby. You can go up directly from the stairs or take the elevator. Tang Li usually likes to go to the fourth floor when she comes. Basically, it is to help Xi Obamian get in touch with her contacts. She comes here many times and she immediately packs a box on the fourth floor. Zio Balian and his agent have never been polite to her, they will come here as long as they make contacts, and all the money spent will be credited to the original owner. The original owner didn't care at all, the money she spent was directly credited to Chi Yuhan's name, which caused Chi Yuhan to limit her spending later. Kill the boss and occupy the mind of the total property. Thinking of this, Tang Li ignored the astonishing gazes that had gathered since she came in, and walked directly to the front desk. When she came over, the front desk greeted her respectfully, Miss Tang, good evening. Tang Li had explained before that when she came here, 
she could only be called Miss Tang. Tang Li didn't talk nonsense, and said directly, Return the box I have packed. I will have to come over to open the box in the future. No one else can. Retreat now. But. The front desk was very surprised, and it took two seconds to recover, Mr. Bai and Miss Zhou have invited a few guests tonight and have already gone to the box. Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com Tang Li. Is this little white face planning to live in this club? She remembered correctly the night before, he should be here too, right? In order to confirm her guess, she asked, how much did he spend during this time? The front desk hurriedly checked her and told her, 6.67 million. Tang Li. No wonder Chi Yuhan would warn her that this prodigal thing is really not his own money, doesn't he feel distressed? Tang Li took a deep breath and said with a livid face, Go and tell Bai Ching Yang that he will bear the next consumption. The front desk is even more surprised. There are many big people who come here, and there are also many special hobbies. As a staff member here, the first thing is not to disclose the secrets of customers, but Tang Li's lace news is special, and she herself is long it's so beautiful, everyone has long been yyy in their hearts and times, and they all envy that little star. Seeing her expression now, after the front desk sympathized with the little star in her heart, she quickly responded, OK, Miss Tang. Tang Li was satisfied and asked, Chi Yuhan went to which floor and box just now? Saying that, she tapped her finger on the table twice. The front desk was stunned, and subconsciously replied, Fifth floor, Moon Lantern Hall. When the front desk came back to her senses, Tang Li was already walking towards the elevator. The front desk scratched his head and muttered to himself, What did Miss Tang ask me just now, why did I forget? But thinking of waiting for the little star's reaction, the front desk got excited again. Is Miss Tang tired of the little star? I plan to dump him. But the fourth master Chi is here tonight. Nothing will happen, right? Tang Li went to the fifth floor for a circle, and after finding the box where Chi Yuhan was, he left something near the door that most people could not see, and went to other floors. She planned to find out the people sent by Chi Yuhan's brothers first. On the other side. When the steward conveyed Tang Li's words in person, Bai Ching's face showed an absurd look, how is it possible? Tang Li can't do this to me. Tang Li said that without him, he would not be able to live, but Bai Ching Yang didn't believe she would. Do it. But the steward was firm and showed him the list of tonight's consumption, this is the list for tonight. Mr. Bai must settle the bill before leaving. Bai Ching Yang glanced at the list and finally panicked. In the past two nights, he was originally venting Tang Li's anger for not helping him that night, so he didn't control his consumption at all. A bottle of wine cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. Tonight, he called some people to come over. I ordered five or six bottles of wine, plus others, it cost millions at the beginning. Don't look at what he usually spends is the best, but Tang Li sent people to prepare it for him. The sum of the money he made is only a few million. If he is required to pay for the consumption tonight, he will where are you willing to? Thinking of this, Bai Ching Yang panicked even more. Zhou Jian was also panicked, but she was calmer than Bai Ching Yang and hurriedly said, Ching Yang, quickly call Miss Tang and ask. Bai Ching Yang immediately recovered, took out his mobile phone and called Tang Li. At this time, Tang Li just happened to find those little scoundrels, and found a bottle of medicine from them. He took the medicine and sniffed it at the tip of his nose, then swept across the few people who were squatting against the wall and shivered, and snorted coldly, Tell me, what are you going to do with Chi Yu Han? The few people squatting in the corner shook even more, and they are still stunned. They don't even know how their whereabouts were exposed, nor when the woman appeared, let alone how she did it. Anyway, their whole body is cramping with pain. Don't want to talk. Tang Li's mouth twitched, and she tossed the medicine bottle in her hand, her tone was light, but with a chilling murderous aura, 
then I'll give you these medicines and let you guys deal with it on your own. How is it? A few men, it must be very exciting. Several people. The beauty opposite is a devil, right? So sinister. I said. I said. At this time, who would dare not to say anything, and if they don't say it, they will wait for. We have already bought the foreman on the fifth floor. She will find a way to send the medicated wine in for the fourth master to drink. The owner will find a way to lead the other two masters who were drinking with the fourth master away. As long as the fourth master drinks, we will send in the woman the master has prepared for a long time, and finally take a video. Tisk. Tang Li let out a soft tisk, and the others shook again. She looked at them and was about to say something when the phone rang suddenly. He took out his mobile phone and saw that it was a little white face, so he hung up, and then asked a few people, who is the owner? It's Master Chi. Tang Li decided to hand over these people directly to Chi Yuhan's bodyguards, and quickly edited them on the phone. While waiting for the bodyguard to come, Tang Li received another call from Bai Ching Yang. She thought about it for a while, but she answered the phone and said, This is the end of our relationship. Don't call me again in the future. Why? The other party's voice sounded particularly aggrieved. Tang Li couldn't take it anymore, I'm married, and my man can only be my husband. I don't believe it, can we meet? No time. After Tang Li finished speaking, she hung up the phone, and then put Bai Ching Yang on the blacklist. At this moment, the sound of fast footsteps came not far away, and soon several of Chi Yuhan's bodyguards came over. When they saw Tang Li, they were obviously stunned for a moment, and subconsciously felt that this lady was not well-intentioned. Tang Li pointed at the few people who were squatting there, I'll leave these people to you. I'm leaving. After speaking, he left. The bodyguard quickly reported the matter to Chi Yuhan. Before Chi Yuhan could speak, Su Xiais, who was sitting next to him, clicked his tongue, shook his glass and said in disbelief, those people in your family are really unwilling to give up, their methods are getting worse and worse, and your lady would she be so kind? How do I feel she did it on purpose? Chi Yuhan's already cold face became even more gloomy, he said to the bodyguard indifferently, take off their arms, send them directly back to the old house, and tell them that it will not be these people who will have their arms removed next time. The managers here deal with other people. Yes. After the bodyguard left, Shang Guan Mo, who had just returned from abroad, asked inexplicably, I've been out for a year or two, what happened? Chi Yuhan didn't want to mention Tang Li at all, so he picked up the wine and drank it. Su Xiais was in a gossip mood, so he said to him, You know, if Lao Chi wants to take over the Chi family, he must marry the Tang family, right? Yes, I heard that Mr. Chi likes her very much. Yes, she just relied on the old man's liking. After marrying Lao Chi, she could do whatever she wanted, not to mention Lao Chi as a cash machine, and she was selfish. When Lao Chi was angry at the old house, she even added fire, a and d. Su Xiais originally wanted to tell him that Tang Li had raised a little white face outside, but seeing Chi Yuhan's expression was too heavy, he didn't say it. In the end, he summed it up hard, if it weren't for the old man, Lao Chi would have divorced her long ago. Shang Guan Mo looked at Chi Yuhan and kindly reminded, sooner or later, such a woman will be a disaster if you stay by your side. You'd better solve it as soon as possible. Yet. Yeah. Chi Yuhan had a plan for a long time, and didn't want to mention Tang Li, so he chatted with the two about something else. Soon the manager of the clubhouse came over to apologize to Chi Yuhan, and said, the boss also came over today, and he said he would handle the matter himself. Sidujin is here too? Isn't he recovering? Su Xiais was surprised. Sidujin was very familiar with them, but his health was not good, so everyone didn't see much time. The manager explained, the boss will come to check the accounts once a month, and today is the time to check the accounts. 
Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com I haven't seen Situjin for a long time. I'll go see him. After Su Shi's finished speaking, he stood up and asked the other two, Are you going? Don't go. After Su Shi's and the manager left, Shang Guan Mo and Chi Yuhan clinked glasses and drank wine. Shang Guan Mo asked, Uncle Ki illness is really incurable. Okay. In the past two years, Chi Yuhan has sought out all the famous doctors and folk doctors at home and abroad. The old man's illness has reached the point where he can't recover, and no one can do anything. Shang Guan Mo patted him on the shoulder, knowing that Chi Yuhan only cared about his father, so he persuaded, Life and death are fate, you have done your best, keep an eye on it. After speaking, continue drinking with him. After a while, his cell phone rang. Shang Guan Mo answered the phone, and Chi Yuhan drank alone. After Shang Guan Mo answered the phone, he said apologetically, Something happened at home, I have to go, and we will meet another day. After speaking, he picked up the wine glass and clinked with Chi Yuhan, drank the wine in the wine glass and left. Chi Yuhan was left alone in the box in an instant. He leaned his back on the sofa raised his head slightly and closed his eyes. Although he concealed all his expression, his body exuded a sense of helpless exhaustion. Because he was an old man, his elder brothers were all grown-ups when he was born. There was no family relationship between them. Instead, because of his talent in business and his father's preference, he became a stumbling block for them. Something that disgusts him. Thinking of what happened tonight, a cold smile appeared on the corner of his mouth, Father, this is the home and prosperity you want. I've given them many opportunities, but they don't cherish them. If you really leave, I won't think about family anymore. On the other side. As soon as Tang Li stepped out of the bodyguard's line of sight, she felt an unusual aura entering the downstairs of the clubhouse, and followed the aura to find it. When they got to the second floor, Tang Li walked in and took a look. The whole floor is a casino, and there are piles of gamblers everywhere. The shouting, the wild laughter, the scolding, the howling, it was very lively. Tang Likao swept the entire hall, and his eyes fell on the group of people who were rolling the dice and betting big and small. What others saw was the excitement there, but what she saw was a cloud of bad luck covering a middle-aged man's head. Unfortunately, you dare to gamble. How unthinkable is this? Tang Li retracted her gaze and was about to leave when she suddenly felt a powerful aura coming from outside the gate. She hurriedly turned her head to look, and saw a particularly youthful and beautiful girl in the uniform of the club rushing in angrily from outside the gate. This girl doesn't look like much, she should be at the age of freshman year. As soon as she came in, many people sighed in amazement. Tang Li squinted her eyes slightly, she actually saw the halo on the girl, and the spirit of the book that pulled her into the book. This person, is the heroine? The girl rushed over and yelled at the middle-aged man angrily, Dad, you come to gamble again, do you think our family is not miserable enough? You go back to me. After speaking, he was about to drag the middle-aged man away, but was stopped. The banker standing across from him doesn't care whether the girl is his colleague or not, he is businesslike, if you want to leave, you can pay him back the money he borrowed from the clubhouse first, otherwise, according to the rules of the clubhouse, he will leave one hand and then make an IOU. Xiang Wan Wan's eyes were red with anger, she tilted her head and gritted her teeth and asked her father, how much did you borrow tonight? Xiang Guangqiang looks like a dead pig is not afraid of boiling water, it's only a few hundred thousand. It's only a few hundred thousand. Xiang Wan Wan laughed angrily, and roared at him, Do you know how long I will work if I don't eat or drink for a few hundred thousand? We haven't paid off the money you owe before, but you have borrowed hundreds of thousands. The father and daughter were about to quarrel. The onlookers watched in front of the excitement, and some deliberately fanned the flames. Xiang Guangqiang, you can't do it, you are actually being controlled by your daughter. Daughter is in charge of Lao Tzu, it's so funny. 
Seeing that Xiang Guangqiang was about to be encouraged to get angry, Tang Li squinted slightly at the Shuling hiding in the heroine's body. She usually doesn't use mysticism in front of ordinary people, but now she has nothing on her body, just only can make an exception. With a snap of his fingers, the entire space is still. Come out, don't think that if you hide, I won't see you. Then he saw a book of book spirits with two short legs and two small arms floating out from Xiang Wan Wan's body. Xu Ling was obviously afraid of Tang Li, and his voice trembled, Ancestor! Ancestor! Tang Li glanced at him, Tell me, why did you drag me in when you fought with Kai Ling? I... I didn't do it on purpose. At that time, the Tool spirit was too arrogant, and I was so angry. I wanted to pull him into the book to clean him up, but I didn't expect to pull in everything nearby. Thing. No no no. I didn't say you, Ancestor, I was wrong, please give me a chance and I will send you out right away. Who said I was going out? For it. I'm in this book, but I want to change a person's fate. That. Ancestor, if you want to change the fate of the male and female protagonists, I don't have that ability. There is a book spirit in this book. After I came in with Qi Ling, Qi Ling went into the male lead's body, and then, he I only took over this book after I ate the book spirit in this book, but I can't change the main plot, unless you destroy the whole book, or their fate can't be changed. Isn't the male protagonist Qi Yu Han? She didn't feel the existence of the artifact spirit in Qi Yu Han. No. Chi Yuhan is an affectionate male partner, the heroine's greatest noble person, and an invisible boss, who will die alone in the future. Ancestor. Ancestor, why don't you speak? Xu Ling was a little scared. As a small spiritual tool, this ancestor could press him to death with a single finger. He didn't want to die. Tang Li was silent for two seconds, then suddenly said, Cut out his affectionate duo for me and he can only be my husband in the future. What does the story tell her? But, but, Chi Yuhan is the heroine's biggest noble woman. Without this person, the plot wouldn't go on a bit. Cross it out. Tang Li's face sank, and a glowing pen immediately appeared in front of Xu Ling, and then he saw the pen writing quickly on his body. But he still couldn't help muttering, I crossed out all the developments about him and the heroine. How he develops now depends on his mood. Okay. But. Xu Ling's pen suddenly paused and looked at Tang Li cautiously, at this time, your man has already drawn up the divorce agreement. I can't control the emotional matters. Ancestor, you have to find a way by yourself. Tang Li had a headache, understood. Then she looked at the heroine, and suddenly had an idea, how do you think I become the lady of the heroine? The heroine has luck, and maybe she will encounter many good things. As long as you master the heroine, good things are not automatically delivered to your door. Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com Good good. Tang Li glanced at Xu Ling who was so excited that she jumped up and down. With a wave of her hand, the whole space returned to the lively scene just now. She walked in front of Xiang Wan Wan, leaned over and said to her, you want to wake up an obsessive gambler, unless you kill him. Xiang Wan Wan looked at Tang Li suddenly, pain flashed in her eyes, she knew she was right. Tang Li had a smile in her eyes, she was as beautiful as a fox, I have a way to make your father stop gambling, do you want to listen? What way? Xiang Wan Wan asked subconsciously. Brainwash your father so that he is afraid of gambling. Tang Li stood up straight glanced at everyone, and said to Xiang Wan Wan, you can take your father out of here. When the security guard standing next to him heard this, he immediately said loudly, they can't go, they have to pay back the money. Call the manager of this floor over. The manager just came over and hurriedly greeted her, Miss Tang. Call me fourth Madam Chi. The manager immediately changed his words, fourth Mrs. Chi, what are your orders? The gambling debt he owes is on my head. Xiang Wan Wan had an expression of disbelief, and then solemnly said to her, 
I will return the money to you. Tang Li, of course you have to pay it back. I'm lending it to you, not giving it to you. As a businessman, Tang Li has no time to help others for free. The manager standing next to him showed an embarrassed expression at this time, but still whispered to Tang Li, Fourth Madam, the Fourth Master said, All your expenses tonight will be paid by yourself, and you are not allowed to put it on his head. Tang Li Although the manager's voice was not loud, it was still heard by many people. The scene was inexplicably awkward. Tang Li pondered for a while, the original owner had a lot of dowry, but after marrying Qi Yu Han, the original owner didn't bring the dowry, but asked her family to invest it. In this way, she really can't afford it now. Seeing that the atmosphere was so embarrassing, Xiang Wan Wan felt a little embarrassed, Madam, thank you for your kindness, I'll just find a way to get the money. What can you do? Xiang Guangqiang was so angry when he heard this, his daughter is a fool, she doesn't even take advantage of it, does she really want her father to break his arm and break his leg? Shut up for me. Since she said to help us pay it back, let her find a way. Xiang Wan Wan was furious, Dad, are you still human? Don't you think that they will abolish my hand, tell me to Wan Wan that it is impossible for me to abolish my hand, and then... I will sell you directly. Then we'll see you in court. You unfilial son. Tang Li felt that this heroine is not stupid and sweet, and she has a concept of right and wrong. She didn't hate it, so she said to the manager, Well, you lend me 100,000 first, I'll bet two times, and then I will double it back. You. The manager thought about it. Although the fourth master said that he would not let the fourth lady put the account on his head tonight, the fourth lady must also have money, and the fourth lady's family should not be underestimated. He only borrowed 100,000 to get it. 200,000, why not do it? Okay, okay, fourth madam, is 100,000 enough? I can lend you more if it's not enough. Enough. Chi Yuhan sat in the box alone holding a wine glass and slightly lowered his head to think about something. After an unknown amount of time, the door was suddenly pushed open, and he saw Su Shi'i's and Situjin strode in together. Situjin is handsome, but he has been sick since childhood. His skin is a little abnormal, and his lips are also a little dark. At first glance, he is very sick. When he came in, he only called out Yi Han and clenched his fists slightly. Coughing on lips. Seeing him like this, Su Shi simply said to him, Lao Chi, go take care of your family, Shi. Chi Yuhan's stern eyes shot over in an instant, maybe because of drinking, his eyes were much darker than usual, like a cold pool, straight to the bone marrow, Su Shi was stared at such a layer of chicken skin. Pimple, suddenly can't talk anymore. Situjin slowed down put down his hand, and then said to him with a little helplessness, I didn't expect Tang Li to be so good at gambling, she only took one hour to make my people lose nearly 100 million, can you? Go down and let her show mercy. Chi Yuhan's expression paused. He thought about many possibilities, but he never imagined that this would be the case. As long as that woman doesn't act as a demon, he doesn't want to care. But Situjin said so. He planned to take a look, put down the glass and followed the two to the second floor. Bai Ching Yang was hung up by Tang Li, and after he couldn't get in again, he clutched the phone and asked Zhou Jian at a loss, Sister Zhou, what should I do now? Zhou Jian was also panicked, but she still tried to keep calm. She first called the front desk to ask, and after learning that Tang Li had come to the clubhouse, she said to Bai Ching Yang, we are now looking for Miss Tang, and we have found your good request. I beg her, and she'll be relieved. Good. The two started looking for someone separately. Second floor. The news that Tang Li had won nearly 100 million within an hour spread quickly, and many people rushed over to watch. For a time, the second floor was crowded with people. Standing behind Tang Li, Xiang Guangjiang rubbed his hands his cheeks were flushed, 
and at the same time he said to Xiang Wan Wan, Wan Wan, we really met a noble today, and this is the first time I've seen such a gambler. This lady is more powerful than the god of gamblers. Xiang Wan Wan was in a complicated mood, and she didn't expect things to develop in this direction. Xiang Guangqiang has already made up other ideas, and is confident, since this lady gambled to help us, she has already won so much money, please beg her later and ask her not to let us pay back the money, also, you asked her to help us pay back the money we owed earlier. Dad, why do you think like that? Xiang Wan Wan frowned and said, even if she wins a lot, it's hers, and we have to pay back what we owe. Are you a pig? She has won so much, and she still cares about our little money. Xiang Wan Wan was about to speak again. At this moment, she and Xiang Guangqiang were pushed away by a force behind them. Then, they saw someone walking behind Tang Li and called Tang Li, Sister Tang. Sister Tang's voice went back and forth a thousand times, and the emotion contained in it was so rich that Xiang Wan Wan and Xiang Guangqiang had goosebumps. Tang Li tilted her head to look at Bai Ching Yang, who was standing behind her so wronged that she wanted to cry or not, and looked at Bai Ching Yang who was holding back her posture. Her eyes were cold and distant, take two steps back. Bai Ching Yang obediently took two steps back. Tang Li then turned to look at him. The crowd of onlookers began to discuss, will you bet or not, are we all waiting? Isn't that the star Bai Ching Yang? What is their relationship? Bai Ching Yang didn't want others to know that he belonged to Tang Li before. Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com always felt that this was a shame for him, but now he doesn't care at all. Instead, he is glad that there are many people here. He feels that he is very knowing Tang Li, as long as he is willing to have a relationship with her, she will immediately soften her heart. Tang, Xiao Li. I was wrong, can you forgive me this time? Tang Li looked at Bai Ching Yang in front of her with cold eyes, thinking about what the original owner liked in him. Although she had never been in a relationship, she knew that the relationship between the original owner and Bai Ching Yang was strange. If the original owner was empty in his heart, he wouldn't have found someone who could take Xiao in front of her at any time, right? Spending money to buy an ancestor to coax, isn't this a brain hole? Thinking of this, Tang Li's expression became a little colder, is there anything you want to do with me? I. Bai Qinjiang's body trembled, Tang Li's tone was so cold, as if they didn't know each other at all, as if he was chasing after him, which made him unable to say what he wanted to say. A strong sense of humiliation surged up, Bai Qingyang clenched his fists and restrained the urge to turn around and leave. He felt that Tang Li deliberately embarrassed him in the public because he was angry with him. For the consumption of more than one million yuan tonight, he he took out his usual acting state, Tang, Sister Tang, can we talk? There was a sneer on the corner of Tang Li's mouth, this person was afraid that he couldn't afford the money to spend tonight, so he showed weakness in front of her, she turned around, so, come and bet with me, one million, if you bet if you win. The money is yours, and I will talk to you again, if you lose, follow the rules of the casino. Bai Ching Yang opened his mouth and looked at her in disbelief. Tang Li's voice became strong, if you want to gamble, just go over and sit down. Bai Ching Yang was about to go over subconsciously, and was directly pulled by Zhou Jian who had reacted. She has already determined that Tang Li really doesn't like Bai Ching Yang, Otherwise she wouldn't say such things in front of so many people, the wisest choice at this time is to apologize and leave, Miss Tang, I'm sorry, Ching Yang is ignorant. I'll take him away immediately. I won't go. Bai Ching Yang also got angry, broke away Zhou Jian's hand and walked over to sit opposite Tang Li, looking at her, aggrieved and stubborn flashed in his eyes, as long as I win, you promise me everything yes or no. He wants Tang Li and Qi Fourth Master to divorce. Moreover, he was still holding a fluke in his heart. Tang Li must have deliberately forced him to express his attitude towards her under such circumstances. She used to ask him whether he loved her or not. 
I won first and then I'll talk about it. Tang Li glanced at Bai Ching Yang lightly, and motioned to the floor manager standing next to him, go and get me a document, if the gentleman on the opposite side loses, he will give as much as he should, and he must take it out within three days, otherwise, I will I entrusted the club to ask for the account for me. As soon as these words came out, everyone was shocked, and Bai Ching Yang stared at Tang Li with wide eyes in disbelief. This clubhouse is too famous in this city. The boss has a strong background and is very ruthless. As long as the winning party entrusts the clubhouse, even if the loser is sold, they will also ask for the money. Of course, the commission fee is half of the winning amount. The average person will not entrust the club. Tang Li is obviously not an ordinary person. Bai Ching Yang was finally afraid. All the people in the audience started to discuss. In the monitoring room on the second floor, Su Xiais and Situ Jin simultaneously looked at Qi Yu Han, who was staring at the screen with indifference. Su Xiais opened his mouth, and after several seconds he asked, Lao Qi, did your lady take the wrong medicine today? She was so cruel to that little white face. Qi Yu Han's absurdity about Tang Li raising a little white face made people depressed. The outside world didn't know it, but Su Xiais and Situ Jin, who had a good relationship with him, knew very well. Situ Jin also looked at Qi Yu Han, trying to see something on his face, but Qi Yu Han's expression did not change. At this moment, he looked away from the monitor, turned around and walked towards the door. I'm going back. When the words fall, the person has already left. Su Xiais and Situ Jin looked at each other. What should I do now? Su Xiais said, Old Chi obviously doesn't want to take care of Tang Li's affairs. Cough cough. Situ Jin coughed several times, took out a silk handkerchief from his pocket and wiped the corners of his mouth, and said, I'm going to meet Tang Li. Casino. Since Tang Li Shuo signed the contract, Bai Ching Yang, who was sitting there, was already terrifyingly pale. Zhou Jian was even more anxious and sweated. While waiting for someone to get the contract, Tang Li felt the box where Qi Yuhan was. With this feeling, she found that the person was no longer in the box. She was a little anxious, so she asked the manager, how long will it take to get the contract? Immediately. After the manager finished speaking, out of the corner of his eyes, he suddenly swept to Situ Jin, who was coming over under the protection of several bodyguards. He hurriedly lowered his head and said in Tang Li's ear, Miss Tang, my boss is here. Tang Li tilted her head and glanced at the man walking by, and clicked her tongue, short-lived ghost. At this time, Situ Jin had already walked to the side and handed Tang Li the contract she wanted, Miss Tang, this is the contract you want. After speaking, put the contract in front of her. A bodyguard brought him a chair, he sat on the other side, and asked, Do you mind if I watch you guys gamble? When Situ Jin came over, the crowd started talking in a low voice, and now seeing him sitting there, the discussion became even more intense. The second young master of the Situ family is here. Didn't you hear that the second young master of the Situ family is a sick child? How could he come here? Xiang Guangjiang, who was standing beside Xiang Wan Wan, was even more excited, Wan Wan, we met a noble tonight, you must take good care of it. Xiang Wan Wan pursed her lips tightly and looked at Tang Li and Situ Jin who were sitting there, silently swearing in her heart that she would work hard and become people like them. Tang Li knew Situ Jin. When he asked this, he nodded, then picked up the contract and quickly read it over. After signing it, he motioned to the manager standing between her and Situ Jin, give the contract to buy. Check it out, sir. After signing the contract, let's take a gamble, hurry up. All her men are gone, and she has no intention of staying here. The manager gave Bai Ching Yang the contract, and Bai Ching Yang sat there motionless like a piece of wood. After waiting for nearly a minute, Tang Li said impatiently, if you don't dare to gamble, just settle the money you spent tonight and leave immediately. Hearing this, Bai Qinjiang's body trembled, 
he picked up the contract and looked, his face became paler as he looked. But he knew that he was now in a difficult position to ride a tiger, and he might have a chance to gamble. He didn't even read the contract, he turned to the last page and signed his name, staring at Tang Li. The manager took the contract and stepped aside, and the dealer began to shuffle the cards. Five cards per person, more points than points, whoever has more points wins. After the cards were dealt, Tang Li didn't even bother to wait, so he turned over the five cards directly. Hiss. In the sound of inhalation one after another, Tang Li looked at Bai Qing Yang, whose face was ashen, flipped the card. Bai Qing Yang's whole body trembled uncontrollably, and he couldn't lift his arms. The next moment, he lay down on the gaming table and cried. Tang Li snorted and looked at Situ Jin. Situ Jin gestured to the manager, and the manager immediately understood and asked someone to pull Bai Qing Yang away. Tang Li stood up and said, Thank you. He was about to leave. Wait a moment. After Situ Jin stopped her, Yu Yu read www. You can shoo. Kam suddenly coughed, he took out the silk handkerchief and covered his mouth and coughed for a while before stopping to look at Tang Li and said, Miss Tang, how about I come and have a bet with you? I don't have time. Tang Li said kindly, instead of betting with me, I advise you to come to places like this less often, or you won't be able to pass the 30-year-old level. Situ Jin held the silk handkerchief in his hand and looked at her unexpectedly. You. Tang Li smiled suddenly, leaned into his ear and said mysteriously, I can cure you, but the price is a bit high. You can find me when you think about it. After speaking, he stood straight and looked at Xiang Wan Wan. Xiang Wan Wan hurriedly bowed to her, Miss Tang, thank you tonight, I will slowly return the money to you. Tang Li nodded and walked towards the door. Xiang Wan Wan hurriedly asked, Miss Tang, how can I contact you? Tang Li waved to her and said, We will meet again. Wherever she went, everyone hurriedly made way. After seeing Ming Wang's figure disappear into the crowd, Situ Jin narrowed his eyes slightly. Xiang Wan Wan pursed her lips tightly, and when her father wanted to say something, he pulled him away. Tang Li quickly walked out of the clubhouse, but it was still one step too late. When the car drove back to the villa, Butler Zhang happened to be standing outside the gate of the villa, watching the inside of the gate and anxiously calling Butler Yang, Tang Li got out of the car, and Butler Zhang just said, Brother Yang, you are obviously drunk tonight. But after he came back, everyone was not allowed to enter the villa, what should I do now? I don't know what was said on the other side. Butler Zhang was about to speak when he saw Tang Li coming over, so he hurriedly greeted her, Madam, you're back. Tang Li nodded and walked in directly. After Tang Li walked in, he came back. It just so happened that Butler Zhang was whispering to Butler Yang again, Madam has already gone in, do I really need to remind her not to disturb Master? Because the neighborhood was very quiet, Steward Yang's voice also came out, No, Madam will go directly to her bedroom, not to the swimming pool. Butler Zhang was about to breathe a sigh of relief, but when he saw Tang Li who came out again, his scalp tightened, and he subconsciously stood at attention and asked, Madam, what are your orders? Tang Li glanced at his cell phone and asked, How is Butler Yang now? Butler Yang asked Butler Zhang to turn on the loudspeaker. After Butler Zhang turned on the loudspeaker, Butler Yang's respectful and polite voice came, Thank you for your concern, madam, and thank you for the first aid that day. My injury has recovered very well, and I can be discharged from the hospital in a few days. Tang Li snorted and said to Steward Zhang, Let the kitchen make me something to eat. After thinking about it for a while, he added, Yi Han probably didn't eat tonight, so I'll prepare some for him. But. Grandpa said that no one would disturb him. You prepare first. I'll go up to take a bath, and then put all the food in the living room. Butler Zhang was a little embarrassed, so he heard Butler Yang say on the phone, Madam, Zhang Kui will immediately go to have someone prepare. 
Only then did Tang Li turn around and walk towards the door with satisfaction. After entering the hall, she heard Butler Zhang's low voice, Madam suddenly cares about Master, why am I so uneasy in my heart? Tang Li twitched the corner of her mouth. She is not worthy of these people's reassurance? After taking a shower and changing into pajamas, dinner has been placed on the dining table. Tang Li glanced at the aisle leading to the swimming pool at the back, and walked over there. Walking to the back door, there was no sound of swimming outside. When walking out, Tang Li also muttered, this person goes to the swimming pool when he is drunk. This is how he likes to swim. Isn't he afraid that he will fall off because he is too drunk and won't get up? There is a particularly large garden at the back. The back door to the swimming pool is connected by a winding cobblestone road, which is more than 10 meters away. Various famous flowers and grasses are planted on both sides of the road. The original owner had never been to the backyard, and every time he came back, he would go back to his bedroom. Tang Li wore a pair of cotton wool and dragged it on the cobblestones. Because it was too quiet, the sound of the slippers was particularly loud. Smelling the fragrance of the flowers, Tang Li sighed while walking, it's a pity that in such a big backyard, what to do with some unsuitable flowers and plants, it would be very good to use them to grow herbs. Soon she walked to the vicinity of the pool, and looked around, and saw a man in only a pair of swimming trunks floating in the pool, motionless, like a floating corpse. Tang Li was startled. Instead of thinking of jumping down to save people, she raised her wrist and glanced at the red line. Finding that the red line was still there, he breathed a sigh of relief, it's okay, it's okay, it's not dead. Then he walked to the pool with confidence and called out, Chi Yu Han. The man didn't respond. Tang Li looked at the man who was in great shape and muttered, you won't fall asleep directly in the water, will you? Just when she was thinking about whether to get the man up, the man in the water suddenly moved, and he directly plunged into a fierce man in the water. Standing on the shore, he jumped out agilely and stood in front of Tang Li, looking at her with deep eyes. The man's hair is not too long. After being wet, it was attached to his forehead, adding to the coldness of his face and the sharpness of his eyes. At this moment, the water on his body kept dripping down, flowing over his bronze chest, submerging into the dark swimming trunks, and finally dripping from his straight and powerful long legs to the ground. At this moment, his whole body exudes a chilling aura and an alluring criminal aura. Gollum! The stimulation was too great, Tang Li covered her nose a bit unbearably, swallowed several saliva before saying, You shouldn't have eaten tonight. I asked the housekeeper to prepare some, do you want to eat? The man still didn't say a word, he just looked at her with those cold eyes, as if he would explode and destroy her in the next second. After a long while, he finally spoke, his voice became hoarse and hoarse because of the drinking, and at the same time he had a strong murderous aura, who told you to come here? Tang Li blinked, can't you come? Cannot. After Chi Yuhan finished speaking, he walked towards her. He didn't understand the aura of his body without clothes. It's not that all four are empty. Tang Li, who has been single for more than twenty years, can't resist the temptation of a beautiful man, and her heartbeat begins to speed up. I said, you'd better not come where you shouldn't come, otherwise. When Chi Yuhan said this, he suddenly shot and he was about to grab Tang Li's neck. Tang Li's waist was bent back, and all his charming heart was broken by the viciousness of the beautiful man. He quickly retreated to the side while dodging, and said loudly. You'd better not fight with me, or if you hurt you later, don't propose to divorce me. Humph. Then see if you have that ability. Chi Yuhan broke out directly, Yu Yu reading www. Yuyuganshu.com attacked Tang Li as fast as lightning. Tang Li immediately accepted the call. The two fought directly on the edge of the pool. Tang Li has learned Kung Fu in reality and thinks she is not bad, but she has too many heavenly treasures, and she uses them every time she fights. There is basically no chance of fighting people with bare hands, 
especially Chi Yuhan's tricks. Li, the two of them only had more than a dozen strokes, and she couldn't stand it anymore. Tang Li was about to use an illusion. But at this moment, Chi Yuhan suddenly paused, and then his body swayed, and he fell straight to the back. What? Tang Li exclaimed, and subconsciously raised her hand to hold him, but Chi Yuhan was too tall and strong, and Tang Li's small body could not be held back. Not only did Chi Yuhan fall directly, but she also fell with her. Bang! With a bang, Chi Yuhan fell directly to the ground, and Tang Li was planted on him. Tang Li was knocked by her hard chest so that her eyes gleamed with gold stars, she lay on Chi Yuhan's body and was stunned for a while before she could react and quickly retreated from him. Then he squatted beside him and pushed him, Chi Yuhan. No response. Tang Li hurriedly checked him. After a long while, she said in a complicated tone, it turned out to be because you were too tired and the effects of alcohol fell asleep. Tang Li thought that when he fell down, his head hit the ground first, so he raised his head a little and touched the back of his head, and sure enough he found a big bag there. How miserable! But her husband, she wouldn't allow him to be hurt a little, put his hand directly on the back of his head, and the big bag disappeared quickly. Then he stood up and found the slipper that had been dropped. After putting it on, he went out and asked the housekeeper to bring someone in and send him back to the bedroom.